design hope you are all doing great so in this tutorial i am going to discuss about mechanical routing paths so whenever it comes to routing creating path is very important so if you know how to create a path most of your routing task will be completed so there are three different kinds of creating a path in nx mechanical routing so i am going to discuss with you about all these three so let's get started like i said there are three types of mechanical routing paths so first one is a linear path the next one is a spline path and the third one is hill path so regarding the spline path and hill path i have already made a video in electrical routing so there is no difference between mechanical routing and electrical routing for when it comes to these two commands uh, you can refer these videos for uh, spline path and heel path i will give the link in the description below you can just go through that uh, link and check out these two commands so now let's discuss about the linear path so now as you can see here this is the linear path command so you can see when it comes to mechanical routing the linear path will be the first command so once you click linear path so there are two different ways how we can able to create a linear path the first one is you can just create a rough path and then you can use the assembly constraint to make a desired path okay so the second method is you can just create a points and by using those points you can able to create a linear path so i'm going to show you both the ways let's see how we can do that so now you can see uh, as soon as i click linear path you can see the specify points here so i'm going to give the points here okay and i'm going to create a simple path okay so this is my path and i'll just click okay so now if you see this uh, you can see it is not exactly perpendicular so okay so they are not perpendicular to each other they have a different you know angle and different path so what we can do is once the rough routing is created you can go to assemblies and assembly constraints so these are the assembly constraints we have so now what you can do is you can just give start giving a parallel and perpendicularity so if i go to parallel so i'm going to select this z axis and this axis so as soon as i give you can see it is now parallel to this z axis so suppose whatever the line you have created here so if you want to make this and this perpendicular so now provide a perpendicularity so between this and this so now these two are perpendicular okay so similarly like this you can just provide a perpendicularity in parallelism and you can also use other assembly constraint as well in order to get desired shape okay so this is the one method how we can create a linear path by using a assembly constraints so let me delete this okay so now these constraints also i'm going to delete okay so now the next method is by creating a points okay so you can see there is already one point uh, what you can do is we can create one more point here at 000 axis okay so there we have a point so suppose if you go here you can see this point so now along y axis if you want to create a linear path of about 20 mm so what you can do is you can just select this point and hit control t so when you, once you hit control t you can see the move object command will come so here always select this copy original so if you select a move original whatever the point that is created here this will be moved from one location to another location so instead of that you can use the copy original so that the point will be copied so now the our point is here along this axis i'm going to move it for 20 mm okay and i'll just click apply so now we have one point over here another point is over here so again i'm going to move this point i will just select this point and hit ctrl t which will open a move object command and along the direction i'm going to move it by 100 mm okay so my second point will be created here and next if you want to create a third point so again select this point and hit ctrl t now i want to move the point along y axis by 20 mm and x axis by 50 mm so let's go to 20 mm and then move along this by 50 mm okay and just click okay so now we can see the point is created so by using these points you can able to create a linear path so now we can just go to home 
and create a linear path select this point and my second point is this third point is this and fourth point is this okay so this is how you can see another way how you can be able to create a path so this is very important when you are creating the paths for mechanical routing so you can just make a practice and uh, if you have any concern or if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i will try to answer thank you